Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Ann and thank you so much for joining me once again. If you have not subscribed before, go ahead, hit that like button and give me a thumbs up if you do like the video. If not, that's okay. You can still go ahead and share with uh, someone else who may benefit from the technique of using jelly gouache. Today I have a lovely landscape for you. I'm using all blues with just a hint of white today, creating the illusion of a very hot but peaceful sunshine, uh, basking with flowers, just uh, seem as if they are birds of paradise. You might be wrong with that plant, but um, just basking in the glow of the sun, but it's all with blue. So today I hope the, uh, this may be beneficial the technique of only using one or two colors that may produce a lovely picture or rather painting. So I'm creating the sun with just a very light wash using this is not pure white but it's more like a periwinkle, a slight blue one from the jelly gouache um, uh, palette you'll see that I'll show it to you in the beginning. Uh, so I'm just um, basing it around the sun to create that after effect doing a wet on dry technique just so it is controlled and I do have um, the sun seeming as if it's bleeding into the, the environment or atmosphere in the sky but I'm using a wet on dry technique first so I'm adding my background as usual, <coughs> excuse me, just a bit of a horse throat there. And in my background, I do enjoy a staining background because it gives that beautiful effect. If you look through all my videos, I enjoy a stained or a watercolor texture background um, because it gives a beautiful blending. So I'm going around in a light wash. This is a tea effect because it's just a wash. So I've watered down the gouache um, a lot just so that it can actually spread into the paper. And uh, the paper will absorb it a whole lot better once the paper is dry. So that's a lovely technique as well. When the paper is wet and you allow the paper to dry properly it gives that nice staining effect it gives the paper the chance to do what it needs to do which is soak up all that water and that paint and dry in the way that it wants to dry not forcefully like using a blow dryer or a heat gun most time I do use that because of lack of patience however it is uh, here's a better result, wet result when the paper dries by itself, like ear dry. So I'm just playing around with the effect there to get that nice blending, not forgetting that I wanted to dry a bit lighter as well as I wanted to have a glow. So I'm creating my own glow without adding lots and lots of layers. It seems as if I'm using two shades here. I have two brushes. I'm like a master manipulator to using two brushes at the same time. But I uh, realized that I didn't want my white brush to get um, dirty, not dirty, but get soaked up into the blue, the deep blue that I'm using, because I wanted to use it afterwards. So I'm using this deep royal blue, beautiful. It gives that nice smoky effect and it also gives the, um, the painting life, it wakes it up. So I'm not forcefully doing it, it the, um, the consistency is a little bit more um, a step up from the tea. Uh, not too thick and not too watery as well. Um, I don't want to say it's kind of a cream, just a little step down from cream because um, I still wanted it to move a whole lot. My apologies for my raspy voice this morning. Um, 
mind doing well though just the voice seem not to be cooperating everything needs a day off someday and maybe my voice just needs a day off too so um it seems as if i'm covering the shade of the lighter blue but it's actually not the case i'm just slightly shading it the um camera just gives it the appearance that i'm actually coloring it all over but um no i'm just giving it a blend so while the paper is actually drying now it's actually damp so i'm not working on a totally dry surface to create the flower i'm working on a damp surface because i'm allowing it to air dry at first i hesitated to see if i wanted to go as close to the sun as possible or just let the sun stay by itself but it's also a fear that you need to get over to don't be afraid to play up with your, your foreground and make things appear right in the face as it is like you're standing there looking at it it, it gives that freedom once you've done it <laughs> instead of making background photos all the time so if you want practice a whole lot of foreground and it, it will feel much better it won't feel like you've ruined your your masterpiece background and it's almost like I don't want to go even close to the sun because it, it's, it's perfect at the moment but you know don't be afraid to play up with it and to free yourself from allowing yourself to really create because once you have done that you will create a better version of what you're thinking but if you hesitate and you are afraid to actually Go ahead and let your give yourself that chance to 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 just be free and create. You will never get that freedom from any of your paintings. You have to relax and trust your instinct, trust your vision for what you're trying to create, and go ahead. Remember, you can probably almost do it again. Maybe not the same effect or the same illusion, but but once you've done it, you will feel much better. A lot more pleasing because remember art comes from within if you can free that inner inner magnificence that you have inside you will never be free to create anything beautiful or awesome or never been seen before remember everything that you do is is coming from you what you've seen what your mind's eye is telling you to create something you probably have never done before so give yourself that chance all right so i do hope you enjoyed this uh, technique today using a lot of washes a little bit of cream consistency um, creating illusions and also playing up with the foreground and freeing yourself to be that master painter that you have inside of you Alrighty, so thank you so much. Please go ahead and look on my Patreon store, sorry, Patreon site. Uh, if you want to go ahead and um, get to see how I get the results that I get. I'm promising nothing, just demos and tips um, of how to create paintings like I do. And also, if you would like to go ahead and see my online store for prints, I currently have this one out on a few um, products these are great for birthday gifts and you know just fun gift ideas to say i remember you i thank you so much for your time and i do hope this was inspiring have a great and godly day